horizontal and vertical lines, wavy lines, zigzags, abstracts, multicolored lines, diagonals. The variety is endless, but every linear pattern begins with a simple straight line. But how do we take that single line and turn it into a beautiful geometric pattern in designer? Let's create some together and find out. Hey everyone, I'm Tracy, an illustrator, photographer, and designer out of the Chicago area. Welcome to the next installment in my surface pattern design series called the Pattern Toolkit. In this class, we're going to start every pattern with a single straight line. I'll show you how to use Affinity Designer to quickly and easily turn that line into several linear geometric designs. They can be used on everything from fabric to your favorite print-on-demand product. We'll begin by creating a simple horizontal or vertical pattern. We're going to start out creating a single solid pattern just to cover the basics. From there, I'll show you how you can quickly and efficiently create variations of that pattern from the line width to adding multiple colors. Next, I'll share my best tips and tricks on creating a successful diagonal pattern every time. While it may seem like it's as simple as changing the angle of a basic pattern, you can run into issues if you don't keep a few things in mind. And finally, we'll create both a wavy and a zigzag pattern. While these patterns are created much the same way, there are a few key steps that you need to consider with each in order to make them tile correctly. Throughout the class, we're going to use a variety of designers' efficiency tools like the pen tool, grids, snapping, and node tools. By the end of class, not only will you have new patterns to add to your portfolio, you'll have a better understanding of how you can use those tools to create future patterns in designer. I'll be using designer version two on the desktop, but iPad users, you can easily follow along with the exception of one key tool, the move data entry feature, which is specific to desktop, everything else works exactly the same. Where there are some differences, I'll jump into the iPad and show you exactly how to accomplish the same task as the desktop. Now this class is intended for intermediate users of designer. While you're welcome to take the class as a beginner in order to get the most from it, I do recommend some familiarity with designers tools and interface as we won't be covering either in this class. So are you ready to take a single line and turn it into four fun linear designs? Let's get started. 